Hey guys, what is up YouTube and welcome back to another of my video. Today, I am going to be teaching you how to make a very simple two-player shooter game in Scratch. So first of all, let's just delete Scratchy the Cat, or whatever you want to call him, and you want to make two sprites. So, two rockets, basically. I'm just going to draw a rocket, yeah. And... There, that's good enough. Let's put in some paint. I'm gonna make it red here. Um, it's a little too big. Make it a little bit smaller. I'll actually make it a rectangle, actually. And let's bring it right in the middle. If you press the, press the cross right here, you can drag it right in the middle right there. There, that's good. And, um... This is very bad, a very bad drawing. You can make your own drawing and make it a lot better. But I don't have a lot of time, so this this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this to the top here. And I'm gonna move this to the bottom here. Let's click on this one and we'll just change the color so they don't look the same. I'm gonna set it to blue just cuz. And now for the script. So basically, what you want these to do is they will move around and they will shoot. If it hits the other player, then the other player dies. Yeah, it's that simple. So, first, let's make these two sprites move. So, when when flag is clicked, go to motion. Actually, sorry, go to control. If, forever if, I mean, forever if, what is sensing? If key left arrow is pressed, duplicate this and make right arrow is pressed. Um, go back to motion. Do change uh, when left is pressed. Change X by I believe it's negative ten. Yeah, and change this by positive ten. So now if you click start. Yes, it does work. The arrow keys work. You can set it to whatever you want. You can set it to A and D if you prefer that way. But that's what I'm going to do. And now all you have to do is bring it to blue too. So now they both have the same script. And also, make sure that whenever it starts a game, it's right in the middle. So we can make it go to X, 0. When it starts and this one same script too go to x0 when it starts so they will both oh sorry they will both start at the middle there let's try this again and yeah they both start at the middle um oh sorry guys um i i messed this up for the blue one you'll want to change the keys so it's not the same key so maybe you could do a and d yeah a and d so A and D controls second player, and left and right controls the first player. That's great. Also, let's rename this to second player. Second player. And this one will be called first player. First player. Um, yeah, first player. Let's stop this script first. And now... All we need to do is add uh, the shooting. The shooting is not that hard. What would you want? Uh, what you want to do is add a new sprite. Pick anything you want. I'm gonna use just use a ball, basically, and I'm gonna duplicate this. And okay, so these balls, okay, this is gonna be for player one. This is gonna be for player two. Okay, this one, um, uh, when flag is clicked. It's gonna start hiding. Okay. And and um we're gonna do that from this one too. Just drag it over. And now go back to the red player and do add an if statement and do if key. Let's just say if space was pressed, okay. If key space was pressed, then it will broadcast broadcast 
a message saying shoot missile. Okay, I'm just gonna call it missile. Okay, and you do that scene for the second player. Let's drag this over. And um, okay, it's right here. You put it underneath. And instead of space, we can do if space if E is pressed. Yeah, if E is pressed, broadcast second player missile shoot. Okay, and now for the ball, um, go to ball and go when flag is click high, and when I receive, change it to shoot missile. When I receive shoot missile, um, yeah, uh, show the looks and go to show, then, um, I'm pretty sure it's in motion, go to, yes, go to first player, then it will change Y by 10. Forever change one by ten, and it will keep on doing that until it hits something, like until it hits a wall or until it hits the player. So let's just try this out first. This work. We're gonna make this one go change y by minus ten. Oh, change y by minus ten and do when I receive second player in this issue. So now if I press play, this is what's going to be it. Um, I can move this player, if I press space, it'll come out like that. It's not the greatest animation, but that's good enough. So for a blue player, let's try this too, if I press E. Um, oh, sorry guys, um, if you want to bow two, you should go to second player, not first player. So second player, now if you press play, Space and shoot. Um, or this player, space and shoots. I mean E. Okay. So now we need to make it detect the player. So if so for this one, say go to um, add another when flag is clicked forever. If go to sensing, go to touching, touching second player then game will be over so just do stop oh, that means the game will stop and put this in ball two and change it to if touching first player then the game will stop so now if we start the game the red shoots and hits blue then the game stops red wins and for the same thing, if blue shoots and it hits red, then the game stops too. Great. And now the last step is to, when it hits the wall, uh, the ball will just disappear. It'll come back and you can shoot again. So to do that, go to ball and do if um, Go to when flag is clicked, go to control forever if go to sensing, touching, wall, edge, yes, edge, not wall, edge, then it will hide. Great, and now you do it to this script and just drag it up and do if touching edge, it'll hide. Great. And now a trick is to click, uh, right click and click clean up and it will clean up your script for you. I'm going to do that for both of these. And I'm pretty sure now the game will work. If I play a red player, I can shoot. And if it touches the edge, it, it comes back to me. And I can keep on shooting. And if I hit blue, boom, the game is over. And now I'm going to try and play both players. I can shoot with blue. It'll come back. I can shoot again. I can shoot with red too, shoot with both players, and if they both shoot, then the game is out and there will be a tie because it hit each other at the same time. That was pretty easy, 
to make. Hopefully, you'll be able to make it, and that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much, so much for coming back and watching this video, and remember to like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye!